Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel and welcome to Swatch and Sip where I swatch beautiful sparkly eyeshadows and I sip on a drink. If you're new here, I typically end up swatching indie brand eyeshadows for this series because let's be honest, they have the prettiest, most sparkliest eyeshadow formulas ever. And today we are covering probably my favorite indie single eyeshadow brand, Terra Moons Cosmetics. I'm swatching their Fall Equinox collection. This already launched and it sold out and whatnot, but I did contact the owner and she told me that they will restock this collection for the Black Friday sale which starts November 24th at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which means it's already started by the time this video is up, but I'm filming this on the 23rd. I got the Fall Equinox collection when it first launched, but I think I was there were so many, so many reviews that I needed to do at the time that I was waiting for the collection to relaunch to do a swatch and sit for it. So the owner of Terra Moose Cosmetics did send me this collection, but you guys know I have a lot of their eyeshadows that I purchased myself. I always, always, always purchase Terra Moons shadows during their Black Friday sale. So I recommend if you want to get into them, now is the time to do it. But this collection, stunning. I have it on my eyes right now. Well, just like two shadows and these are the more subdued ones. They have some really stunning multi-dimensional ones. The sip, the drink portion. I'm sorry, I like forgot I was filming this today. <laughs> so I got some water to sip on. I did have a caramel latte from a local coffee shop this morning when I got my nails done. And if I was smart, I would have saved it for this video, but we're not that smart here apparently. Anyways, I'm terrible at describing colors, so I'm gonna do my best. <laughs> but let's take a look at the shadows. Let me turn the light down. It's gonna be a little dim, but you can see the colors better this way. Boom! So this is the empty palettes that Terra Moons comes out with. This isn't for the collection. You buy the collection shadows individually. But I'm happy I have a Terra Moons palette. But here are the shades for the Fall Equinox collection. I'm just gonna let this sit here because why do I need to describe these? Just look at them. They're so beautiful. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I don't know that I'll need both arms, but just in case. So this is the Cosmos. Let's see what we got here. So this one's a little bit more on the flaky side. Not in a bad way, but it's just got a lot of texture to it. So in this one, I would say you're getting pink and baby blue and turquoise. You see a little bit of green with that shift. Woo! Okay, okay. Here we go. Let me blow some of the flakes off. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Mm-hmm. This is why I do this video. I like to show you sparkly goodness. And in person, the shift is even more strong. It's just always hard to convey the shift over a camera. Uh, but just know in person, I wanted to put this on my eyelids so bad today, but with shades these shifty, I tend to be a little bit more minimal. But anyways, let's move on to star sign right here. Gosh, this collection is like up a notch. I swear, I Terra Moons always has some of the most beautiful and best priced, in my opinion, individual shadows, but there's something about this collection that really is amped up this time. So this has like some periwinkle, some pink, correct me if I'm wrong, but I see like some silver or gold in here. You're gonna have to be the judge of that, but take a look. That is... Whew. Yeah, lots of pink and blue in here, really stunning. So I noticed the shades in this collection, not all of them, but a large majority of them are very sparkly, which I personally love. But I think with this specific collection, you would benefit from using a glitter glue with these. Now this one is not flaky like the other ones. This one's a little bit more creamy, but you can just see the reflex in this pan. So this is Tidal Flare. And this one has more of a cream formula as opposed to sparkly. And this is a little bit warmer. It has like a, it's almost like a golden green shift to it. I don't know. I'm going to stop trying to describe these colors because I'm clearly not good at it. But look at that. So you can definitely see how this one is more creamy as opposed to sparkly. But it's, it's like metallic. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Here's another more warm one. This is Crimson Eclipse. <sighs> Yes, these are as beautiful as they look on camera in person. 
In fact, they are more beautiful in person. It's the sparkles that are doing it for me. Wow. Indie does it best. They really do. If you like sparkly, shifty shades, you've got to try some of these indie brands. So this one is Solar Expansion. You can see that greenish shift. Then it's almost like a red. Very interesting. This is like Sextra Terrestrial on steroids. So much prettier, in my opinion. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Okay. Next one that we have here is Cosmic Dancer. So this has some blue to it and some green. This one is more of a metallic as opposed to a sparkle. And you can really see that green shift there. Can we like... Why is it focusing on my hair? Ooh. Love that one. Okay, this one I'm actually wearing right now. Not all over my leg. This is Dark Energy. So it has like a, what would I say? Like a blue-purple shift with more of a black base, I would say. So I have this padded in the outer corner of my look. Just a touch of it, nothing crazy. It's definitely not the focal point of my eye look. But I use this to create some depth in my look. And this is more of the metallic finish as opposed to the sparkly finish. Okay, next shade that we have is Siren. And you see it's like a lime green. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's just pretty. <laughs> so this is what it looks like on my finger. Ooh, so many of you are going to die for this time of year, this kind of color. Look at that. It's like green, gold, touches of blue. Some very nice levels of sparkles. Oh, I love this collection. It's just so sparkly. <laughs> okay, here is one of the... This one is Space Case. This one is one of the bolder ones. Oh my gosh, it's so creamy. <laughs> I just picked up so much color. Um, It has a blue shift in person that's kind of having a trouble being picked up on camera. This almost feels like a cream shadow. It's super duper wet. And in person, I would say you're missing like the purpley blue shift. I'm trying to see if I can get it to pick up. Like you can slightly see it like right there, but just can't pick up on camera. I know some people use mirrors. I can't get it to show up with a mirror. I'm not talented. <laughs> okay, this next shade is M51. So, so you can see the shift right where I turn the pan here. This one feels super duper creamy. Look at that. Okay, here we go. Mm -mm -mm. These two actually, like, I feel like they look similar on camera, but in person, the purple is really showing in the shift here, and it's not quite so green. They look a lot different in person. This next shade is Midnight Winter. So this has like a greenish blue to pinky purple shift. I mean, you can see that right there in the pan. Mm. This one feels really nice. It's one of the smoother consistencies to where it's more of like a foiled metallic finish as opposed to like glittery. But I mean, you can still see there's tons of glitter there. Super pretty. All right, here's the last one. This one is the one that I'm wearing all over my lid right now. This is Veil Nebula. So I do have some mauve purpley mattes underneath, but all over the lid. I would say this is the more subdued color, but it still is quite dramatic. So take a look at it in the pan right here. Ugh. Oh, 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 I almost dropped it. <laughs> here's what it looks like on my finger. Lots of colors going on in here. I don't even know how to describe it. It has more of like a plummy base to it, where there's like green and gold sparkles to it. I feel like I see almost like a green to yellow to blue shift. I don't know. I don't know. That's what I think Terra Moons does such a good job of. You can't even detect all the colors in there. But here we are. This is the entire Fall Equinox collection. I mean, breath 
breathtaking, right? If you love the shifty glittery shades, I definitely recommend looking into this for the Black Friday sale. As stated before, Terra Moons, I always place quite a large order during Black Friday to pick up as many of the shades as I can. And then I just play with them until the next year, really. But like, look at this. This is the first full collection that I have from Terra Moons. Oh my gosh, it is. I don't want to take it off my arm. And just be assured, I know it looks stunning on camera, but it's even more beautiful in person, so. You guys know how I get about sparkly eyeshadows. Anyways, that is all I have for today's swatch and sip. I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely check out the Terra Moons sale that we have going on. Check out the Fall Equinox collection. I'm personally a big fan. This particular collection is quite sparkly, so if you're into the sparkles, this one is for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one.